All right, we're back with a fun one today. We have a hobby box of Satsu trading cards. This is uh, their claim, the world's first popular manufacturing business TCG. I'm familiar with all those words. I just don't really know what they mean in that particular configuration. But let's take a look at the packaging here. We got one of one autos, sketch cards, unique inserts, numbered redemption cards for international trips and exclusive products. That's great. Ages 10 plus. Got a QR code that'll probably uh, download some viruses onto your phone. Another QR code. And uh, some pictures of the backs of monitors. That's pretty cool. That's helpful. And then some sort of indication of what we have inside. And you can see this is the uh, exclusive 2023 set. Now, the cool thing about these is I got three of these hobby boxes. This one cost me six cents. This was my first one, six cents. Then I paid a penny for one. And then I think like a dollar 25 for another one. I'll show you how to grab those. There's none currently listed, but the guy lists them all the time. And when I got this one for a penny, I thought for sure, there's no way this is going to show up in the mail. Then it showed up in pretty good. Uh, I mean, the manufacturing pro packaging is nice. The shipping that they used was nice. They had a foam wrapper, a box that fit just perfectly with this in it. And all three of my boxes shipped from China. I think about a week and a half, each one got here and they were each shipped separately because I bought them over the course of three separate weeks. I was going to reach out to the guy and see if he would just wanted to sell me a case of them. But uh, I stopped feeling bad. I just, I don't understand how you can get this from China to America for a penny. So let's take a look. What, we're going to open it up. It's going to be a box of spiders. Okay. So overall, not, I just hit the uh, microphone pretty hard. Not bad. Nice looking packaging. Even that box. Like, why can't Tops do something like that? Or even upper deck. That's nice. Shout out to Satsu. So here we go. I really have no idea what we're going to talk about while we do this. So we'll see. I'll try to uh, keep the conversation going. Nor do we really even know what we're looking out for. So obviously that's the back of the card. It feels decent. Feels like a, not like a good chem playing card, but cheap enough playing cards. So there's that picture of monitors again. The creator of the world's first popular manufacturing business TCG introduces one of the most versatile portable, portable monitors. You know what? Check back in a couple weeks. I'm going to see about ordering one of those. All right, moving on. Boss's decision. This, I saw this card somewhere, actually. This might be on the box. Or maybe it was in one of his listings. So, boss's decision. We don't really know what that means. Plus, not being a TCG guy, really all we're looking for is <laughs> autographs and number cards. See, so let's just keep going. That, that must be a good one. Display panel. Look, you get 10000 for everything. We'll try to auction that one off later and see what's going on. <laughs> I'll send the whole thing out to CGC. I always remember, there's too many three-letter acronyms anymore. There we go. Some kind of cracked ice refractor. New regulation. This card requires the opponent to pay 5,000 PP to comply with new regulation. Uh, still, I have no idea what's going on right now. But I would say we definitely got our pennies worth here. I don't know what the trade rate is on a penny to uh, the Chinese yuan. I'll look that up. I'll, maybe I'll put it on the screen. So there's that. Another monitor. Speed up. Bank. Are you still watching? Write something funny down in the comments. Oh, oh, look at that. Now we got the refractor of this. That's a uh, boss's decision refractor. Oh, and look at that. I didn't even realize. So each one, it does kind of make it a little bit easier to open. So far, I'm liking Chinese card production. Another boss's decision. Good stuff. Just business. Stem. That's, again, no, all 10,000, whatever that does. That's got to be something good. Imagine playing this. 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give this to my nephew for his birthday. <laughs> the refractors do look dope, though. Got to give them that much. And who knows? Maybe the whole thing is dope. I couldn't find any cheap baseball hobby boxes or anything. That would be really nice. Oh, good. Boss's decision again. And, you know, the tough thing is, like, how do you even... For someone like me who's not going to be able to figure out how to play this, or even figure out why it's all in English. Oh, reemergence. Oh, sorry, I cut myself off. What I think, I, like, my only course of action at this point, unless I can find somebody to take these off my hands, I, I don't really know that there's any resale value. Like, when am I going to sell one of the, the cracked ice refractors? At $1.79, I would make 50 cents profit, but at $1.79, you could buy three <laughs> hobby boxes out of it. So what are we going to do? I am interested in these monitors. Another boss's decision. It's getting kind of uh, repetitive already. Just business, display, material. Oh, that's a new one. Stand. Maybe there are REM fans over there at Satsu. So despite having that little... Divot, no, that's, that's not what it's called. That little helper notch, notch, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh. See that? Is that an error card? Maybe. Leave that there just in case. All right, we'll leave it there. Junkyard. Reemergence, we have that in a refractor. And direct labor. I don't know. Do the refractors, do they play better? Do they, You know what? We could check real quick. We had the boss's decision refractor. All right. So let's compare the refractor to the reg. Oh, it's not, not just refractor. It's the yellow parallel. So superpower management optional. Everything's exactly the same. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, you know what we didn't do? I just realized the odds are on the back. Oh, boss's decision again. Just business, stem, pre-orders, scrap. So we're already working ourselves through uh, multiple duplicates of the entire set, it would seem. But at least it's not a box of spiders. So, all right, let's take a quick look at here. Of course, we got the glare. Mystery insert cards. One of so it's saying you get all right. So these refractors, these must be mystery insert cards, since you're saying you get one per pack, and that seems to be the the case there. Numbered to ninety nine, you get one out of every twelve hundo. Numbered to three ninety nine, one out of every nineteen hundo. And so on. Let's see. Okay, number to one is one out of every two point four mil. I'm tempted to spend a thousand dollars and get a thousand packs of these things shipped to my house. I've had a little trouble opening the packages the last few. Well, let's just skip right to that. Equipment. Okay, we got a couple of those. Another black on black. And I wonder, is it always gonna be so we get one insert plus nine base? Let's pay closer attention on this one. I think the insert's always going to be that last card. So we can always skip to the top. Let's figure it out. So we call that the add card. We still don't know what that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're counting this as eight. And they're counting this as nine. Nine base cards plus one insert. Huh. All of a sudden, uh, that is that impressive level of scamminess. Then again, who knows? This could be like their version of uh, Black Lotus. That'd be sweet. I already got three of them. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Junkyard, pre-order, stem, scrap, overhead, equipment, direct labor, display panel. Just get these out of the way real quick. It sucks that we can't get more cheap hobby boxes. Oh, there's our boy. Just business, stem, pre-order, scrap, overhead, material, equipment, outsourcing. 
the box to trash can pipeline. Mm, some of these packs are <laughs> giving me a bit of trouble. You still watching? Let me know. Mm. Okay. I wouldn't blame you if you stopped. But then again, I had nothing else to come up with after that. Junkyard. Good. I was hoping I'd get one of those. So about halfway through, no numbered cards yet. Stands to reason. I can't see myself. Oh, oh hold on. So yeah, they're definitely counting this ad ad card <laughs> as a uh, an actual card. Boss's decision. Every time I see the boss's decision card, he looks like that that one dude from the later seasons of The Office. He was also in. Uh, it, it, you got to look quick though. You obviously can't stare at the card. Hot tub time machine, ready? Boom! It's him. It's it's dude from Hot Tub Time Machine. Which, for some reason, I can never remember his name. He's one of the funniest people. Oh, there he is again. Just business, stem, pre-orders, scrap, overhead material, equipment, and... Oh, that's a new one. Change hands. It is nice, though. And I couldn't find anything on this, no matter where I looked. I think Amazon had a couple packs, some jerk off selling for like nine dollars a piece. Like, no, dude. That guy. But uh as far as like rules, how to play, maybe I'll make up the rules myself and just make a, a YouTube video. Bank. That'd be sweet. Okay, that helped a little opening from the backside. Head card. <laughs> It's each pack. All right, so junkyard. Hold on, just so I don't think that I'm going crazy. We're gonna lay these out. This is the order that the pack came in, top to bottom. We'll see if they're in the same order. This will be the pack that doesn't have any of those cards. Psych. No, it is. All right. So yeah, this is the other configuration. Bank. All right, here we go. Boss of the decision. Just business. Stem, pre-orders, scrap, overhead, material, equipment, just biz. So that kind of helps explain why they're a penny. We've had at least four of the same exact packs from one hobby box. <laughs> Love it. Meanwhile, 5,000 miles away, there's some dude laughing. He's like, <laughs> I sold, sold these to some dude in America for two bucks. I have no idea how they shipped them over here. That's the part I need to figure out. How can you possibly... I can understand, I, you know, everybody I know that sells on eBay, we've all had one or two sales. You probably get, I would say, one out of every 500 to 1,000 where you end up losing money because you didn't calculate the shipping right. It definitely happened a lot more before Ground Advantage took, you know, came into the the equation when you're trying to guess... It would box size and weight, and then all of a sudden you get something you got to ship to freaking Seattle or something. But the fact that this guy keeps listing these, there's got to be something, something that we're missing here. Boss's decision. Oh, this is a different one, starting with Boss's decision. So that's that's the part I'd like to figure out. How are they shipping stuff so cheap? How do we get ourselves? that same uh, advantage. I mean, 69 cents to ship a baseball card is not bad, but can you imagine if you could ship a baseball card to Japan for a penny? Like you'd be making a literal killing. Another one of those. Junkyard pre-order stem. Speaking of junkyard, I have a feeling a lot of this stuff is going to end up there. Oh, messed it up again. Speed, oh, speed up. I thought it said speed run. All right, and another junkyard. So let's take a look at our hits. I don't remember any numbers being here, so those will go straight to the scrap heap. All right. So yeah, we'll figure out what kind of monitor they're trying to sell us. 
more importantly, how much does it cost? I'll buy one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven worthless blank cards. I'm going to roll down to the, uh, the Pokemon shop. <laughs> I'm like one of the days where all like the, the serious people are there and just break these out. Like, hold on dog. Oh, we don't need display panel. Let's make sure these are all. Okay. So here are our refractors. I say our, I mean me mostly. So change hands, boss's decision. Junkyard. You know what? I'm just as bored of this as you are. If you know anything about this set, I guess drop that down in the comments. <laughs> if you have any questions, I, I probably can't answer any of them for you right now. But I appreciate you watching as I always do. And we'll open something better next time. I'm at a point where I need to start opening cards now because there are no longer any decent garage sales or estate sales where I live. So I have nothing to, to pedal. And that's an issue. So that's that. I appreciate you watching. As I look up at the clock, it shows I've been recording for 18 and a half minutes. If I can't get this down to like 10 with the editing, you're not going to see it. So I'm talking for nothing at all right now. I appreciate you watching. Now here comes the end card and peace.